Hello everybody, this is String Emma here to kick off round three for Group A. Oh, we're getting into the group stage now, aren't we? And we have got this quartet of matches for you all to tuck into. At first, we have got the newcomer, Conciliatory Past, looking to go 2-1 and one as they take on Dexin, looking to go 3-0. and oh. Then we have quite a big game here. Owen to Asta taking a crack at gold. Then we have another debutant who's been impressing, Sunlight Rabbit going up against Crown Over, searching for their first win of the tournament. And all that before our main event of this session. It is the giant killer Black Beauty looking to go 3 0, taking on Raybone, looking to avoid going 0 3. That's going to be an interesting main event. We've got three matches to get through first before that, so let's go on with match number one. Right then, in the red corner, for conciliatory pass, we have got an Irritator, the warning type Irritator, and this Irritator's been really impressive so far. It's had good displays against Aster and Gold. Although conciliatory pass did taste defeat in round two, it was very close. They still impressed, but this will be by far their biggest test so far, because in the blue corner, for Dexin, we have got Utaraptor. Right, we're on the meadow field, so no terrain advantages since none of our guys have grass types. Dexin, a strong tournament so far, 2 0. Looking to go make it 3 out of 3. But, they'll be wise not to underestimate conciliatory past. Because look at that, the warning effect already. The first hit on the board. The attack boost activating as well. A good start there from Conciliatory. Oh, look at this. Getting the warning effect again. And maxing up on the attack boost. Doing more damage as well. Irritator. Being an irritant so far for Dexin. Ooh, but Dexin does respond with a crit. Good response that, and it triggers the Mayfly. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, but that's Water Sword's gonna do it. And that's gonna put De Conciliatory past 1 0 up. Massive hit from the Irritator early on. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dexin, we have got a Spinosaurus, heroic type. Now, I do feel like the Spino against the Desandra Rurus could be, could swing this match back in Dexin's favour. Since the Spino's heroic type, that Hydro Cutter is going to do a massive amount of damage to the Desandra Rurus. But, it's got Irritator to get past first, and this Irritator is looking strong. Oh, that's a big water sword. Big hit coming from Irritator. Look at the damage. Spino getting cut down to size. Well, this is not going to plan for Dexin so far. Is the Irritator going to give Conciliatory Pass a 2-0 lead? Yes, it is. Another water sword. And wow, this <laughs> freaking Irritator is just so good. I think in all three matches so far, Conciliatory Pass has managed to take a lead. Right, now things get interesting for Dexin because coming in third, we got Sorrow Faganax and Dexin is in big trouble now. But we won't count them out yet because this Sorrow Faganax hits really hard. And, you know, a couple of hits on the Irritator and the Descent Aurorus. Dexin could be right back in this contest. But they need to get rid of this Irritator. They just can't get rid of it. Ty is proving to be a right irritant. Oh, big fireball. Big hit from Dexin. And that, even with a tight disadvantage, should be that for Irritator. But, well done his work, hasn't it? And yeah, there it goes. Okie dokie, coming in next for Conciliatory Pass, we got the Sancho of us. And you have to say, this has been a really good showing from, from the newcomer so far. 
overall in this tournament. Really surprised. Not that I'm saying I thought they'd be the whipping fodder of this group, but I didn't think they'd do this well. And if they win this, massive shake-up at the top. Ooh, but Dexin's starting to get his swagger back. The firebomb's coming in. I say you can't count this guy out. Oh, look at the damage. Massive damage. Dex in right back in this contest. At it. From two crits. Two nil down. And all of a sudden now, it is Dex in with the momentum. Wow, that was quick. Right, up next for the conciliatory pass, we have got the Super Triceratops Awaker Mode on three. Now, we haven't seen too much of this guy, to be honest. But it's going to have to do its work here because this Sorofaganax is looking like a force. Well, the Dexin was flirting with disaster here, but they come right back in this. Two big hits from the Faganax has definitely swung this match's momentum. Mm, but conciliatory pass does get the lightning spear on the board. Conciliatory pass so far ahead, but the Sora Fagon has really pulled it back. Ooh, but the Triceratops starting to get hit. Conciliatory pass starting to regain that control again. Ooh, but the Fagon is not beaten yet. Right, it's time for the Awaken mode, and if Dexin does survive this. That will guarantee him a losing bonus point. And he does! And he gets the hit! And all of a sudden, we are level packing. Oh, but it's conciliatory pass victory! That crit will seal the deal! And it's a massive win for conciliatory pass! And Dexin tasting their first defeat of the tournament. But they will get the losing bonus point. So they're not going away empty handed. But what a win for Conciliatory Past. And they are really shaking up Group A. On the match number two. Right then, in the red corner for Asta, we have got an Alpha Kentrosaurus. Oh, interesting. Right, we are on the arid field, which does favour Earth types, however. Both of our guys have Earth types in first, so the terrain advantage will cancel out, so there'll be no terrain advantage for either of our combatants. Right, in the blue corner, representing gold, we have got the Stegosaurus. Gold picking up their first win of the tournament in round two against Conciliatory Past, albeit it was a very close win. Oh, I could have gone either way. And as for Asta, well, they're bottom of Group A at the minute, pointless, looking to get their first win on the board. I do feel this is a massive match for Asta, on the basis that their next two matches are Crown Nova and Black Beauty. Oh no, Dexin, sorry. And that's a good start from Asta there, getting the banana surprise. Boosh! And an Earth Barrier incoming as well. A solid start from Asta, and they need it. Um, Gold, they got the win last time, but uh, it's not been, you know, it's not been a convincing start so far. I think he's expecting a bit more from them. And this is not a good start as well. The Banana Surprise move removal is going to take place, so that means that the Kentrosaurus will go for Scissors. Ah, oh, sorry, you can't go rock. Oh, bless him, goggle paper. Boop. Another banana surprise. And the Stegosaurus is slipping up big time, and I will be lethal. Well, just the start you want if you're Asta. And for gold, it's another slow start to a match. Right, coming in next for gold, we've got Acrocanthosaurus. Now, this Acrocanthosaurus did do its work. In, against conciliatory pass. I believe it did take out the OP Irritator. <laughs> oh, that's a 
tie. Well, finally the Kent resource is hit. Well, damaged anyway. Oh, I get another banana surprise. This is just what Asta needed. Wee push. Now I do feel in this in this group stage, I think three wins, maybe with a bonus point or two, should be enough to get you out of the group. Although this is, I think this is the first time that I've done an eight person group so I'm not 100% sure but I'd say three four wins will probably get you through out the group okay there goes the earth barrier as gold lands their first shot of the match but the poison is really wearing the acro down this has been a strong performance from Asta so far and they're refusing to let up as they go 2-0 up right coming in third for gold who's really struggling yet again We've got Amplosaurus. Now, this Amplosaurus has been a bright light for gold in this tournament, and it has pulled its weight. And we have seen what it can do. That's a one. Oh, hello, we got a Dino Swing. Well, Gold get, finally getting some shots in this match, but again, is it too little too late? Oh, oh, here comes another banana surprise. The MVP move of this match. Wee! Oh, here comes another Earth Barrier as well. Can Asta get the 3-0 victory? What a massive confidence boost that would be. Okay, that's a tie. And the Earth Barrier is still in effect, so Amplosaurus is going to need at least two hits to kill. The Kentrosaurus, but so far I just can't get any. Can has to get the 3-0. Okay, that's another tie. Ocean Panic is a factor. I think with the Earth Barrier... Oh. Yeah, the Ocean Panic's coming in. That's going to deny Asta the 3-0 victory. But at this point, I think we all can expect them to get the bonus point win. And what a massive win that is going to be. And Kentrosaurus finally goes down. And yes, the Ocean Panic does ignore the Earth Barrier. Right, coming in next for Asta, we've got Megalosaurus. Can Megalosaurus finish the job here for Asta? Or will Gold complete a remarkable comeback? <laughs> so one. Oh, hello. Gold. Well, at least Gold's not going down without a fight. Getting the dino swing off. Which is not the best move to use on Amplosaurus, but there we are. I don't think Amplosaurus can survive another tie, so... Oh, oh, hang on, we got another Dino Swing. Boosh! Well, one hit and Asta could be denied the bonus point victory. Okay, there it is. I should do it. Oh, the tie. Ampelosaurus clings on. And it gets another Dino Swing. Well, this makes things interesting. From possibly winning 3 0, can Asta hold on and just get a win? Right, coming in third for Asta, we've got a Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus. Well, all Asta needs is a tie, and they'll get the job done, but they're really making hard work of this. That first win is in it's is, is there. you just got to get a tie on the board. And that Ampelosaurus goes down, but gold, you know, give them credit. They're not going down without a fight. And going forward, being denied the bonus point could be costly for Asta. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Well, again, Ampelosaurus shows its worth, but it is Asta's victory. 
finally getting off the mark in this tournament. And that could be a big victory going forward. But I do feel missed opportunity to get the bonus point. Which, again, could be costly come the end game. But I'm sure they'll just be happy to get a win nonetheless. Right. On to match number three. Right then. In the red corner, representing Sunlight Rabbit, we have got the Orange Triceratops. Sunlight Rabbit enjoying a very good debut so far for their first tournament. Coming in at 2-0. Two wins from two. Looking to go, well, looking to go top for at least five minutes. In the blue corner for Crown Over, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. Crown Over not enjoying a good start so far in this tournament. 0-2, looking to avoid going 0-3. Not the start we expected. But, again, there's still time for them to turn it around. And they have had a quite difficult schedule. Playing Dexin and Black Beauty in their first two matches, I believe. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. Ooh, it's Aloatrox getting the first hit on the board, and it's a big crit. I was holding that in then. Oh, the ground flicker then. Big hit from Crown over. Just the start they wanted. And that's a very good start. That will finish off the Triceratops and give Crown over the 1-0 lead. The triple headbutt coming in. Gonna bust those kneecaps. Shatter them up. <laughs> Bloody horrible, isn't it? Well, not if you're crying over because you're 1-0 up. The attack boost maxed up as well. Not a good start for Sunlight Rabbit. Right, coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we've got a Patasaurus. Secret to Kuyo. Um, not much to say. It's got all secret moves. Just your run-of-the-mill secret dinosaur. But can it get Sunlight Rabbit back in this contest? Because this has been a very good showing so far from Crown Over. Ooh, big crit that could be. Big hit from the uh, Apatosaurus. Oh, another crept. Good response from the black from the uh, sunlight rabbit. Ooh, don't want to go scissors. They don't want to get hit by Atrox's crit, and they won't because Atrox is down. Okie dokie, coming in next for Crown Over, we got the Super Minus. Well, it was a good start, the black Be but Sunlight Rabbit has evened the score. Back and forth contest this has been so far, you have to say. Both of our guys getting good hits. Oh, all the secret moves have been triggered. But it is Suga Minus landing the next hit. And Alpha Dice, what's it going to be? Oh, bless him, he's only a one. Well, that is the risk if you use those gamble type moves. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ooh, that's a tie. But it is chipping away at Apatosaurus's HP. Oh, but that's going to be a big hit. Massive hit from Sunlight Rabbit. And that will probably put them in the lead. Oh, big shot, big damage. Crown over. Reeling after that hit. And they'll be reeling after this hit because this hit's gonna put Sunlight Rabbit 2 1 in front. A Patlosaurus really stamping its authority on this match. Oh no, the Shuka Minus is shocked. And down it goes. Right, well, coming in third for Crown Over, we've got Alpha Chasmosaurus. 
And yet again, Crown over clean catcher. Got to stop that Apatosaurus getting off hits because those big hits have been have been very effective from uh, Sunlight Rabbit. And as I said, those secret moves stay in play as well. Oh, that's another crit. That's not good. That is a these secret moves won't go away either. One, I believe, once the Patasaurus's moves are triggered, that's it. They stay. I think it's like after a couple of turns that they get triggered. But look at this from Sunlight Rabbit. Can they get the bonus point? Crown over. Licking their wounds, flirting with disaster again. Ooh, but does get the hit there. That could be a crucial hit, but not a surprise coming in next. The move removal effect here would be very welcome. And he gets it. And, and he poisoned it as well. Oh, that could be massive for Crown Nova because that move removal effect will guarantee him at least a tie, which will be lethal for a Patasaurus. Okay, there it is. But, you know, the Apatosaurus, massive damage done in this match. Right, coming in third for Sunlight Rabbit, we got the Super Ankyceratops. Super Ankyceratops, Awaken Mode on three, has the Lightning Strike. Can it finish off the job for Sunlight Rabbit? Or can Crown Nova come back and win? It all comes down to this, doesn't it? Hmm, I, yeah, one hit from the Ankyceratops will end this match. Ooh, that's a tie. And yeah, there it is! Sunlight Rabbit going 3-0 in this tournament. And Crown Over going 0-3. What a tournament so far Sunlight Rabbit has had. Another win on the board. But yeah, most of the work was done by a Patlosaurus. And Crown Over, well... Oh, and free. Didn't see that come in. Sega. Group A, Freud, more plot twists than a movie. On to our main event of this session. Will there be a twist in this matchup? Right then, in the red corner, representing Black Beauty, we have got an Eocarcaria, Super Eocarcaria. Awaken mode on three. In fact, both teams have a uh, Super Dinosaur. Black Beauty enjoying a strong tournament so far. Looking to make it three out of three in this matchup. But in the blue corner, representing Raybo, we have got Paris Dinotector. Paris Dinotector with terrain advantage. So Raybo will get the first hit in this match. So that, you know, terrain advantage playing a factor here. It'll be an egg attack. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting match. Raybone searching for their first win of the tournament, going up against Black Beauty. It could come down to Dino. I think Dino Tector, Awake Mo, we got a Blitz Dinosaur in this matchup as well. Loads of factors in this main event. Ooh, but it's Black Beauty getting off to the goods to a start there. Getting the hit. Getting the Lillian Cure on the board. Pretty ass move, to be honest. And a Flare Sword. A good response from Black Beauty to that terrain advantage. Twice. Ooh, but the Paper Effect has been triggered. So if Paris can get the next hit here, it will do a massive amount of damage. Oh, that's a tie. Actually, I think, yeah, I think it does stay in effect until they get a hit. Or they either get hit. And actually, one more for the Awaken Mode for the Eel Carcaria. But look at the Dino Tector filling up. And Paris gets a big hit on the board. Ooh, now things get interesting. Because we get the Awaken Mode and the Dino Tector at the same time. Dino Tector on! Ooh, here we go. This is what we want. 
We got the uh, we got the uh, awaken mode going up against the Dino Tector. Oh, but his Black Beauty getting the hit. Down goes Paris. Right, coming in next for Raybone, we have got Alpha Rajasaurus. Now, the Eocar Carrier is on really low health, so anything, will, any damage to it will probably kill it. So it's not doom and gloom for Raybone there. And to be honest, I think even if he got a tie, he had to get a hit. So I did feel the odds here were in Black Beauty's favour. And in fact, if it was a tie, Black Beauty would have had a chance to hit the Rajasaurus with the Awaken mode. So let's see if they would have got the hit. Okay, as a tie, so that would have made things even worse. Oh, and it's not lethal. Okay, they didn't get the hit, but they would have done da more damage to the Rajasaurus. So, you know, not the worst case scenario there for Raybone. And at least they take out the Eocark. Right, another... Coming in next for Black Beauty, we've got the Blitz-type Brachyceratops. A surprise little wild sheep, this fella. It will get... It, well, it will go for two crits. There's no guarantee it'll get them. But Black Beauty has had good fortune so far with this fella. Will that continue? Oh, it won't. But the Dino Stuffer is going to stop that crit. That could be a big Dino Stuffer, that for Black Beauty. That's why it's in the moveset, just in case. Right, crit number two. Oh, no crits this time. Black Beauty misses out. Oh, but, but gets the crit there anyway. <laughs> wow. Armion Gera Dive coming in as well. Good hit though from Black Beauty. And they do extend their lead. But I do feel like the Rajasaurus does hit slightly harder. But it's about getting those hits. And they can't get the hit so far. Well, there's a hit. The softening beam coming in here. Now, that is going to reduce the defense that the Brachyceratops has in a tie. So, in simpler terms, Brachyceratops will take more damage during a tie. Ooh, but it does get a crit, and that is going to be Rajasaurus going down. Okie dokie, coming in third for Raybone, we have got a Super Ferrocinosaurus. Raybo not out of this contest yet, but he's still got the Awaken mode. So things are heating up a bit. <laughs> okay, there's a hit from the ferry, the galley rush should ensure that this is lethal. Yeah, there it is. I actually needed a Galley Rush for it to be lethal and Brachyceratops bites the dust. And we are level packing in this main event. Right, coming in third for Black Beauty, we have got Ace Dinotector. Ooh, it might be Dinotector versus Awaker Mode again. <laughs> yes. Um, we haven't seen too much of this guy, to be honest. It was a finisher in uh, Black Beauty's second match, and I wasn't needed in their first match. Hmm. Although, Black Beauty has been pretty strong in this tournament so far, and hasn't been in a losing position yet. Ooh, it's a big crit from the ace. Right, that's one. That's a tie. I don't think this guy has Sonic Blast. Ooh. Very responsible crit and a recovery to come as well. Big hit from Raybone. 
Ooh, but Dino Illusion has been triggered. That's going to slow Raybone down. That's twice. One more for the Awaken Mode. Now, ideally, Raybone needs to get rid of this Dino Illusion here. It's a tight. Otherwise, the Awaken Mode could be wasted, potentially. Well, a bigger problem is that the Dino Tech is filling up. And it is going to be filled. So you know what that means. Dino Tech up. Oh! Ooh, this could be a big moment in the match now. I do believe the Dino Illusion also stays in effect as well. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's Ultimate Wind. That's going to be game over for Raybo. And Black Beauty's going to make it three out of three. Yeah, I think the summary in this main event, the big moments went Black Beauty's way in this matchup. Raybo definitely put up a fight. And yet, Ace's HP is below half, so I will give them the losing bonus point. But it is Black Beauty's victory, and Raybone's search for their first win of the tournament goes on. Now, let's have a look at how Group A stands, and we can end the session. Well, that is, that is Group A, ladies and gentlemen. So we have Black Beauty topping it on 10 points, 3 out of 3. Then we have Sunlight Rabbit, 3 out of 3 in their debut season. On 9 points, then we have Conciliatory Pass going above Dexin by virtue of the fact that they beat them on 7 points. Then we have Dexin dropping down to 4th. Asta getting that massive win against Gold, going above Gold into 5th. Gold staying in 6th there on 3 points. Raybone getting a losing bonus point in the, main, in the main event. And then poor old Cryonova. Rooted at the bottom. And, cruci well, more vitally, 6 points adrift of Dexin of the top 4 already. So, they got a lot of work to do if they want to get out of this group. But you look at Black Beauty already. 3 rounds in. 7 points ahead of Aster in 5th. With, what, 4 to play? That's going to be a big gap to close. And like I said, I do feel like three wins plus a couple of bonus points is probably going to be enough to get you out of this, out of a group. But again, you know, it's early days yet. Nothing's guaranteed at this early stage of the tournament. And yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.